Hey, JMC6000 here. On this episode of JMC Garage, we're going to be talking about the Maverick Hybrid and one of the downsides of owning a hybrid during the time of year that we're entering in or already in for me right now. So come on, let's jump into the cab with me here shortly. Hey, thank you for joining me back in the truck here of the 2022 Maverick Hybrid. Now, one of the things I want to do, let me fire it up here. Press the start button. Um, let me get some heat going. So as of right now, we got some heat going here. We got the heated seat on, get the heated steering wheel on. Um, it Right now outside, it's about 33 degrees. And one of the things I wanted to focus on today in this episode of of the Ford Maverick and on this episode of JMC Garage is if you want to kind of actually give me the camera here son I'll just kind of zoom in for the people look at that one of the downsides to owning a Maverick hybrid in the winter is that right there do you guys see that here I'll zoom in whoa 32.9 miles to the gallon actually what I've been averaging here in the winter has been about 33 to about 34 miles to the gallon. Since it's gotten cold, anything below 40 degrees, about 40, 45 degrees, the miles per gallon in the Maverick drops. Um, if you haven't noticed, which you probably have, but I'll let you know, the engine just turned on and that it's turned on for the reason of engine on due to heater setting. So if you look at that, the engine's actually on because I want it warmer in the cabin. And the reason why I want it warmer in the cabin is because, you know, it's 33 degrees outside. As a result of that, the engine cycles on and actually runs more. Not only that, but in the winter, the battery doesn't hold as much of a charge as it could in the summer. Therefore, the engine is on a little bit more and a little bit longer. Um, as a result of the battery not holding as much of a charge. As a result of me having the heater on. Um, so the miles per gallon in a Maverick hybrid, or in fact in any hybrid, just plummets, just drops. And the best I can muster throughout my trips uh, on a weekly basis is right around 33 to 34 miles to the gallon. Um, my last, uh, I believe last time I filled up, I was getting about, I think I averaged that tank about 34, maybe 34 and a half. This tank I'm probably going to average right around 33, possibly. Um, the colder it gets, the more miles per gallon kind of like goes down in the Maverick. Um, there's some trips where I'll, you know, take my wife to work early in the morning. Actually, I take her to the gym early in the morning. Me and her go to the gym. And usually on my trip, as I leave the house from here to where the gym is, which is about 15 minutes away, in the summertime, I was averaging about, you know, I can do a calculation of this trip. I was averaging right about you know, 35, 36 miles to the gallon on that trip because I had to jump on the highway. So here recently, it's only been about 28 to 29. It's just taking a nosedive. So one of the sad realities about owning a hybrid in the winter has been the miles per gallon. In fact, as of right now, my butt is nice and warm. The steering wheel is nice and warm. I mean, the truck does great in the winter, but uh, again, the miles per gallon is definitely not where it needs to be in the winter as a result of just owning the hybrid. So uh, anyway, just kind of the things I want to point out as a result of owning the Maverick hybrid in the winter is miles per gallon suffers. And this is without using the remote start feature. I have it on my, I'll show you. I have it on as a Lariat. I have it on my key fob. And I also have it on the app. So if I want to use the remote start, in fact, any kind of Maverick can use the app, the Ford Pass app, to remote start their vehicle. On the Lariats, I believe with the Lariat Luxury Edition, like what I have on this one, it comes on the key fob itself. Many times I don't use this. I store the truck in the garage, and this is still the result of my miles per gallon. In fact, since I've, sit since I've been sitting here with the engine on, with the heated seat on, 74 degrees in the cab, everything my miles per gallon dropped to 32.7 now uh, and that is on an average of about 269 miles so far on this tank i'll be lucky if i get 400 or a little over 400 miles to this tank so anyway just a sad reality of 
owning a hybrid in the winter plus winter fuel not being the best for some reason winter fuel is a little bit different grade of fuel versus like summer or uh, different times of the year fuel so this is something to think about as you come into a maverick hybrid or maybe you already own one or maybe you've owned hybrids in the past and you probably know what i'm talking about again uh miles per gallon usually in the winter in anything below 40 degrees right now it's 33 degrees outside it just plummets just drops just a sad reality but um it's a great truck so far does great haven't had any issues out of almost the 33,000 miles i've owned it except for the cv axle but i haven't had any of the battery cable issues haven't had uh anything else go wrong with the truck it's due for another recall have to get that checked out for the uh airbags um, not for the front airbags, I believe it's for the side curtain airbags that need to be replaced. I believe they're up here, maybe not up here in the pillar. I think they're in the seat. I forget where they are, but it's for one of those airbags. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please drop me a line right in the comment section. I love to read those. I'll answer those as much as I can. This is JMC 6000. Just want to touch and highlight upon the gas mileage uh, that I've noticed uh, since winter is really set up here in North Idaho on the Maverick hybrid. And I think it goes for any hybrid. Imagine if you had a fully electric vehicle, how bad your mileage would be as a result of owning a fully electric vehicle in a, uh, in a winter condition like this. Oh, the engine just shut off down to 32.7 miles to the gallon. The engine just shut off and now I'm just sitting here idling. It's going to provide me plenty of heat, uh, I just cracked it down to 70 degrees. It feels pretty warm in here, huh, son? Yes. Um, I think the perfect temperature for this truck, once it gets nice and warmed up, is 70 degrees, um, about one to two, three on the fan. I keep it on defrost and on the, on the um, coming out the panel here, and it feels feels great. Anyway, so this is John. Thank you for tuning in with me, and uh, tune in next week as I have another video coming. All right, you guys be blessed subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you'll get all those things. All right? Be blessed.